here we are walking in to go sheep hunting we got four days to season connor how you feeling buddy great ready to rip heck yeah let her rip but yeah this is our view tonight Morning of day two. Plan today is to go up the hill, get on that ridge line over there, and there's another ridge that connects, and there's a subsequent valley that we can drop into. about to cross the skinny part of the ridge it's like a hundred yards um, but it's pretty thin on the ridge line here and you'll see up ahead there's not a lot of wiggle room and then after that we're pretty much home free I mean we got a little more bouldering to do and then we'll drop down to this next valley right over there it's looking nice and green down there hopefully there's some sheep <laughs> Plenty of snow for that. Could build a sweet jump back here. <laughs> Launch into the rocks. <laughs> well, we finally made it down to the valley. No sign of, no fresh sign of sheep yet. Seen a few um, old sheep beds and sheep tracks. But nothing recent. And we haven't seen any sheep yet. We did a little glassing here or there. But uh, we got a long valley here. They could be anywhere in here. So we're just going to pick our way through it and kind of stop glass, stop glass, until we can go set up camp. Had a little rain earlier today and then it just stopped. Might pick up again. It's going a direction at this point. Pretty awesome. Made it to camp. <laughs> How you feeling, Connor? Oh, long hard day, but pretty stoked. We're in the valley we've been dreaming about. Almost. We could see sheep at any moment. We haven't yet. It's all good. Plan is to head down the valley tomorrow. There's a big glacier, hanging glacier down there, and we'll hang a left at the glacier and get up behind these mountains. And that's kind of where we're targeting. But we could see sheep at any point now. So, pretty epic. Morning day three, day before hunting season, and greeted with some rain. Not too bad when you got a tent though, really. The one thing we're a little concerned about is just these clouds that are moving through. Well, we just won't be able to see any sheep if they're uh, they're going to be a little more concealed. But it seems like with the wind, there's movement. We'll get little glimpses into the upper reaches of the hills, and uh, the plan still remains the same head down the valley. Sheepy, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's 
it's getting pretty wild back here. We got a mountain goat in sight and a bear. No sheep yet. There's a few spots that are suspicious, but my it's raining and my binos just keep fogging up. And uh, we're heading that way anyway, so we'll just glass them later. But the goat's down in the drainage down there. And the bear is up there. Pretty awesome. Looking at two rams. Yeah, buddy. Top ones maybe, maybe legal. We have to watch them for a little while. They're quite a ways away up the hill. They have no idea we're here, which is fantastic. Oh, that top one's looking pretty close. Can you see this okay, Connor? He's looking pretty good. He looks pretty close. I just, I'm, yeah. It's hard to say, huh? Yeah, it's hard to say at this point. All right, we got camp set up here. We're still glassing those sheep. Uh, they are right up there. Looks like one is legal 100%. The other is like 99% sure he's legal. We're just gonna try to get closer and see. And we still need to decide if we're gonna shoot two sheep or not. So, so we're quite a ways back. Yeah, they're feeding. Sun's coming out a little bit, getting some coffee going. Things are looking up. So it's about 10.15 and we're still watching the Rams, August 9th. And, uh, sheep season opens tomorrow. They haven't moved a lot. They've been in the same area all, all day pretty much. And we're just waiting for them to go down to bed. One of them already's laying down. The other hopefully should go down soon. We don't have a ton of light left and then we should get some light pretty early in the morning. So we'll get up then and see where they're at. Hope it all works out. Uh, let's see what happens. They are still up there. Morning the 10th, shooting day. Uh, we're looking at the rams up on the hill still. They took a nap up there for the evening. They're still there. We're just trying to make our play to get up there. They're in a pretty exposed spot, of course, with great visibility. Um, they're still up there to the left of these snow fields. So there's a cliff band here. I think we're going to try to work through the cliff band. And there's a little scree field below we could possibly get a shot from. Um, and if not, we can try to figure out another route. But that might be our best bet right now. So see what happens. All right, we're making our move on the sheep. They're about 1,500, 2,000 feet above us. And they're in a pretty open section, but we might be able to, we should be able to get out of their view and uh, make a play on them and get within range. So it's about uh, 5 a.m. And uh, we'll probably be up on those sheep in an hour, hour and a half, depending on how slow we take it up at the top. August 10th. Still working my way up. Just, they should be right on the other side of this. I don't know, five, six hundred yards or so. At least if that's, they stay put. I'm gonna start dangling to the right. Try and peek over the edge get an idea of where they're at. I know every step I make right now, that's one step closer to those sheep, if they're there. Makes the shot easier. Makes identifying your ram easier. It's the most ethical thing to do. So, if the opportunity presents itself, Hopefully we can head home with the ram today. I'm just by myself. Connor 
are still below. Hanging out, watching. See how it goes. Well, they busted me. I don't, I don't know how. Um, they're on their way out of here. And there's four of them now. There's the two big guys and the two little ones we were watching above camp. They all banded together. So, it's the way she put and goes, man. You think you got it. And uh, everything looks like it's working out right. And uh, they gave you the slip. I had them at about 700 yards at the farthest when I got here. And that's just not for me. Offhand when they're moving, nah, nah, too far. So I'm gonna let them get out of here. Maybe they'll calm down and we can find them again another day. That's the way it goes, man. What a view though, eh? They ran right across this basin here, up in there. See them skyline? Yeah. Oh my God, dude. And I was so close for that. And then, Damn it. and then they went, the last time I saw them was just to the right of the peak. I think they're going to just go get some sun and they're going to come back right there. You think so? That's the way they're heading. I'm going to go wander and look for different sheep or the same ones. I don't know, but go try and find a legal ram. We just saw three hunters on the ridge line and two behind us. So that's why we're kind of splitting up. Um, his knee's bugging him. So uh, we're just going to split up for, for today and... Uh, meet up tonight, see what happens. Hopefully we can find, one of us can find a ram. Beautiful, beautiful country and a nice day too. Feeling a little more positive than it was this morning. So, a few miles down the valley from camp and uh, just gonna poke up another valley and see what's up that direction. It's pretty widespread, this other valley, so I certainly won't have time to explore it all today, but We'll see how far we can get. With daylight we got, uh, still morning. It's probably about 10, 30, 11 a.m. And uh, yeah, feeling a little, I guess, uh, a little bummed that we didn't get that sheep earlier today. But that's just the way it goes. You gotta keep pushing and there's gonna be failed stocks and uh, for whatever reason, if the sheep saw you or not, sometimes they just don't go the way you want them to go. And that's okay. I'm just gonna keep trucking and we'll see if we can find another sheep up here. It's looking pretty good. There's a ton of country. I've never been this far down here, but wow, it's pretty impressive. Glaciers. Yeah, it's done. Come down to a whole new valley here. A lot of climbing to get here over a lot of rock and boulders. This is all just left over from the glaciers here. A little rain. A few little patches of green here and there. That's probably where the sheep will be if there are any in here. Wow, alright, I'm working my way down this valley. Let's see if there's any. Those sheep came up and over the ridge. And if so, maybe try to find them. The sun's coming back out. It's kind of rainy and cold for a little while. So, looking up. Just ran into another hunter. He just shot a nine-year-old ram this morning. Um, so, congrats on him, man. Beautiful ram, Ben. Hope you make it out safe. I've been dreaming of getting back to this valley for years. It is pretty spectacular. I'm just gonna do a loop today. Uh, camp is up and over this range. So the sheep we busted this morning kind of came this direction. So my hope is I could head up onto the top of the peak, move that way and head down towards camp and hopefully see something. It's one o'clock, so I got nine hours of daylight left. Uh, a little more than that, so. Um, yeah, just keep on moving. Really loving the sun. Just found two rams. They're a good ways up the valley. 
They look like they're in a good position right now. They're feeding. It might be our two rams from this morning. Which means there's probably two other little ones with them somewhere. Look like good sized rams. They're definitely worth a closer look. So, here's what we're looking at here. The rams are up there just to the left of that snow field, right there. 12, 1300 feet up. Then work along the cliff band that direction towards the rams. Get the spotting scope out. Verify legality. Hopefully within range. Pull trigger. Get sheep. We'll see. I'm getting a glimpse right now of the rams skylining themselves, looking like they might go over the edge. So, I'll just get the map out and see where they're going. Getting a little late in the day to be chasing rams all over the mountains. So, we'll see how far I can make it. I was hoping they'd stay put. That's sheep hunting. On top of the screen. Look at that cliff band. And I'm seeing the sheep again. They're up on a peak up here. I'm hoping they'll bed down soon. They're kind of moving the wrong direction. But I'll head up there and see where they're at. They're probably they're probably a solid thousand yards away at this point, maybe more. Um, so they shouldn't be seeing me in this rock. I'm not skylining myself at all. So, we'll see. This is what we're going through. This is what we're working with right now. Boulders. Boulders, boulders, occasionally a sheep bed. Boulders, boulders. Hopefully, we can make this happen. What a sight though, huh? Came from down there. So this is where the rams were earlier today when I initially saw them. And uh, they went up, they dropped off the edge, came back up, went up this, got up on top of that, and then I think they went down. There's a ridge line that runs down the other side. And I was incorrect, that camp's not quite that direction, but it's uh, back towards the valley, so we can make that work. Uh, go see where they're at. Maybe get an eye on them from up on top there. This is about where I saw the rams. Right there. I think they went up and over the edge. I'm just going to go take a look. If they're nowhere to be seen, I'm going to buzz back to camp. This is where the sheep were. They're crossing over behind this knoll. I think they just dropped down. And went that way. I don't know where else they could have gone. Ooh, these guys are making you work for it, that's for sure.
Ram down. Ram down. Offhand shot. There's the other guy right there. Beautiful ram, boys. Beautiful ram. Holy crap. Holy crap. He has no idea what's going on. God, I'm sorry you guys missed the shot. Ooh. Whoa, he's a big one. He was so close, guys. I just looked at him through the scope and his, his lamp tips were going way above. It's, it's a no-brainer. Let me get a range on it just while we're here. He was freaking close. Fifty yards on the dot. Yeah. Wow. Okay. August 10th, ram down. Yeah, this will be manageable getting him out of here. Whew, he's a big, big dog. Big, big dog. Oh, buddy. Thanks, bud. You don't know how much I appreciate you, buddy. Heading over, we're gonna go down, around, up the valley to camp. About halfway down this rock pile, um, it's shallowing out a little bit, which is making it better. But man, these rocks are just tough. They're all loose, and you just can't trust any of them. And with a heavy load. Holy cow. Mildly sketchy. Almost done with this crap though, and then down there it should get a little better. Um, need to find some water for sure. Should be easy to do. Oh, Ooh, long day. Worth it. Totally worth it. About a mile from camp. Pretty wrecked. <laughs> but I'm happy to be where I'm at right now. It's not raining. It's not windy. And I got a big doll sheep in my back. I love it. What do you think about that, Connor? Oh, it looks delicious. A little jerky up top, tenderloin down below. Mm. Fire, roast, fire roasted sheep. <sighs> Day six, heading out with a ram. Super light packs. Gonna be out. In, <laughs> gonna be out in about three hours. <laughs> Drinking beer and eating pizza. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, in three hours we might be like a mile down the valley. <laughs> Feeling pretty.
pretty wrecked, not gonna lie. Boulder, 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 boulder. Whew. A lot of rain and wind. Yeah, good stuff. That's what it takes to pull a ram out. It's a lot of work. <sighs> One step at a time.